Now let's see how we can make use of a resonance tube, a device called a resonance tube to determine the velocity of sound. This device is used to measure the velocity of sound using the phenomenon of stationary waves. As you can see a resonance tube simply consists of a tube of water. However, the water level in this tube can be varied by means of a tank situated here. Now, we put a tuning fork very near the mouth of the resonance tube. When we start vibrating the tuning fork, the air column above the water starts vibrating. This air column here, as you can clearly see, behaves like a closed organ pipe. We slowly start decreasing the level of water in this tube. Now, we already know that the frequency, the fundamental frequency that can be created in a closed organ pipe is F equal to V by 4L. In the earlier case, the length of the closed organ pipe was constant while we were changing the frequency so that we could obtain the fundamental frequency in case of a closed organ pipe. In this case, we have the frequency of the tuning fork here is constant. So we already know the fundamental frequency that will be obtained in the closed organ pipe. But what will be the length of the closed organ pipe to give this fundamental frequency? That is what we are trying to obtain. So we are changing the length to obtain such a length that the basic waveform in case of a closed organ pipe will be created like this. Now, as soon as the length of the air column becomes equal to lambda by 4 or equal to one half the length of a single waveform, resonance occurs. This is because the fundamental frequency of this closed organ pipe that has been created here becomes equal to the frequency of the tuning fork. Because of the resonance, a pop sound is heard. So we record the water level at which the pop sound is heard. Let us say this pop sound is heard when the water level is at length L. Now there is also some distance between the top of the resonance tube and the tuning fork. The waveform will be formed right underneath the tuning fork. So this distance between the top of the resonance tube and the tuning fork must also be taken into account. So lambda by 4 is equal to L plus E because the distance from here to here is clearly lambda by 4. Now we further decrease the water level like this. Finally we keep decreasing the level until another pop is heard. When will another pop sound be heard? Of course, when another possible frequency in this closed organ pipe will be generated. As you can see, this is the next possible waveform that will lead to resonance with the tuning fork. Therefore, a pop sound is heard when this waveform is created. After all, the frequency of the tuning fork has become equal to the second harmonic frequency of this closed organ pipe. Now this length is clearly 3 lambda by 4 and as in the previous case L1 the new reading of the air column plus E is equal to 3 lambda by 4. By using the formula L plus E equal to lambda by 4 and L1 plus E equal to 3 lambda by 4 the values of E and lambda can be obtained. Now since the frequency of the tuning fork which is the same as the frequency of vibration inside the closed organ pipe is known, lambda is known, the velocity of sound V can easily be calculated by using the formula V equal to F lambda. This is how a resonance tube is used to calculate the velocity of sound. I know this seems a bit complicated. Therefore, you can go back and rewind the video, watch it closely again and slowly your concepts will become very clear.